for all. Um, so look, it was a bizarre idea. If you see the original production, the whole idea of that song, putting it together, is about working the room. It's about being able to continue discussions with various people in the um, in the room while you move on to somebody else. And, and as he said, the room is full of chromolooms, full of his art for the future. We need money from foundations, exactly where we all are these days in, in subsidised theatre especially. So, what they did on Broadway was each time they would bring a cut-out version of George to remain in the centre of the two people that were talking, and then George would continue to talk to the audience. Whenever I've seen the production, I get to not, not totally confused, but um, Al does too. <laughs> no, it, um, it's a very tough number. It's a very tough <laughs> number. But I don't focus on George, and George is the one who's telling us about how he has to work, he has to do this, he has to do that. So what I wanted to try and do was to get it larger than life so that we knew exactly what we were focusing on. You're on a situation, you're on a stage where you've got very interesting characters in bizarre costumes, like they're at, a, at a, an opening of something or other, all a lot to distract. But if you've got a huge hero image of this face saying, this is what I'm saying at this moment, I think you get it much more than you would otherwise. So that's why we've done a live feed for it. You will have also noticed that we do little captures of each thing. So George will talk to three, two other people and then at a certain moment that will be captured and will go up onto a vox pop, what we call it, up in the thing. So it's got, it's an element of, um, it's an element of um, what's it, an installation, sort of a modern art installation, one of those walls that you see, like in, um, What's your square down there? Federation <laughs> Square. That sort of idea. Uh, and it's just a, a way that we now can use technology to try and capture what George is trying to get to us. That, that's where that came from. Mm. Uh, go on the net, actually. Go to YouTube and, and um, Google um, Barbara Streisand putting it together. Because Sondheim rewrote it for her to do her Broadway album. And so she does it as a solo a piece. Really fascinating to watch. But that's where I got the idea of using the video because there it focuses <coughs> only on Barbara Streisand. Look at him. And it focuses only on Barbara Streisand and you see all of those words and you get all of those those um, um, incredible rhymes. Yeah, well, it's the thing. You, you have to play the situation as as being real to you. Yeah. You're, 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 you can't. But everyone does, even the supporting yeah. characters that we've talked about being brought of it. Like, they have to believe in their given circumstances. Oh, they have to have an objective. Mm -hmm. And if you, it's like comedy and tragedy. If you commit to whatever you're doing, even if it ends up being ridiculous, that's the truth of it. I'm yeah. not sure how to so. play magical, so. Yeah. 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 But my dress doesn't. It is like a magic box. The, yes. the, the design was yes. like a magic box, and that's where it that's came amazing. from originally, that whole idea that anything can happen that within box. that. Yeah. And that's there from the very, very opening of the show where he, he scrubs out a tree and it flies out of, out of yeah. view. And so we know that from that very first moment, Some anything that he says... Will, will become a reality. So I suppose that that's sort of a magic in that way. That yeah. He is the conjurer in that way. We deliberately didn't go down the Maddie Patinkin route, which which is to to sort of conjure things. Yeah. Um, Having said that, there are moments, of course, yeah, where thought changes. I want that out of my life. I want them gone. We, the there, are, there are these musical stings which we talked about yeah. often. Um, that are along those, those Yeah, lines. and that's why those three trees, for example, come down <coughs> in the front, because they, they are obscuring certain things. And, and, and essentially, um, the magic, we, we have to be complicit with that as an audience. Oh, absolutely. In order to make that magic seem real. And also, and, and I, I think you're right, is that, that, ter that term is suggested in the notes because nothing, those characters don't exist beyond the frame of that, that um, painting. They are, except for Dot. And, um, and his mother. Mm. But apart from that, that's that's the magical world in which they, they exist. And when everyone's there, we all believe it, we're all complicit in it, we all are part of conjuring mm. that. Yeah. And, and you get things yeah. like in Act Two, when they do that very strange scene, uh, what the, that they call the eulogies, after yes, they all yes, come down yes, from yes, yes. really strange piece of writing. Yes, it is very... uh, the only people that exit on the downstage level are the real people so to speak everybody that's 
that's sort of conjured, I suppose, in that way, exit back into the painting. Mm. So it's only mum, nurse, mm. these two, and Yvonne, Yvonne and, 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 um, and whatever his name is. Paul Stewart. Well, for you know, it's it's the uh, the commitment to one's art, to one's drive, one's mission, um, mm -hmm. and the sacrifices that you ultimately have to make. The mm -hmm. balance is it worth it? Ultimately, mm -hmm. you know, it's up to you to decide whether the the personal suffering that he experienced was that worth it to create what is one of the greatest masterpieces ever created. Mm -hmm. You know, the battles of of, of genius of people that um, are so tragically flawed in, in mm -hmm. some way. You know. you go. Oh, uh, I would say connection, definitely for, I mean, the whole piece, but for Doc, and especially Marie, I mean, connectivity to your loved ones, Where do you to belong? your art, children to, and art, to your family, mm -hmm. yeah, um, you know, to be in the world mm -hmm. and not observing. And I think both of them are, the, are right, and it's just as important that Dot has that child, goes to America, has a new life, gives that child, and as she says, you know, I, I made very sure that Marie learnt mm -hmm. right away, it was all about the next generation, it was all about giving, it was all about connection with the past as well, and I think that's a very important theme of the piece. Not only do you say, you know, stop worrying where you're going, move on, it's important that you know where you've come from, it's important that you know what's at the root of you so that you can actually know where you can go. Mm -hmm. It's a really, it's a really lovely question, and it's yeah. a lo it's a really lovely way to finish as well. And I was just thinking, I think George's sacrifice is to the point of even his own child. Yeah, is huge. The stakes, you know, your loss is is huge. Well, it, it, absolutely. I mean, it's also his inability to know quite how to deal with that mm. situation. Mm. He doesn't, you know, he's a slightly troubled family life, mm. and how how do you, you how how did I mean? I'm not quite certain how. I'm fairly certain I wouldn't react in that quite that way but you know, some people have he has an ability his the thing that gets in the way is his inability to connect to communicate mm. um, to the extent of mm. sacrificing a child as well